Yesterday marked the beginning of the first ever CS2 Major, Major Copenhagen, taking place between March 17th to the 31st. And with that means we get another viewer's pass to try and earn the first ever CS2 Diamond Coin. When I posted my update content about this though, a lot of people were kind of confused with how it works, considering this new viewer's pass for CS2 is a bit different than the CSGO one everyone is used to. So today, let me do a quick rundown of it and explain how to get the most out of it. Booting up or tapping back into CS2, obviously this box right here is the major Copenhagen hub. Like this is pretty much where everything's gonna be happening. And clicking it, this is about what the page will look like. I'm sure everyone's seen this already. But right here where I have my pick'em challenges, if you haven't bought the viewer's pass yet, you'll see the viewer's pass for sale instead. And this is what you have to purchase in order to be able to participate in the pick'ems and get all the perks out of this. Now there are two versions you can buy, the 999 one and the 1799 one. The cheaper one does unlock everything. Like you're not missing out if you do buy this, but buying the slightly more expensive one gives you three souvenir tokens. And I'll get into these more here in a second, but these are basically what you use to redeem souvenir packages. And while a lot of people like to open these, if you save them and sell them at a later date, you can potentially look at making back this money or even making profit off of it. So that's why I myself and honestly a lot of players will go with the more expensive option. But once you do pick up whatever pass you want, that left box on the Copenhagen page is going to change to the pick'em challenges. So besides now having the major coin, which you can see right here, you also have all these tasks. And if you do complete all of these, not only do you get more souvenir coins to redeem for packages, but you also can upgrade your coin from silver to gold and then to diamond. Anyone who's participated in CSGO pick'ems knows this already. But as for the layout of everything, this is where it's become a little bit different. At the time of recording this, the opening stage is underway, so the pick'ems for this are specifically locked. But you can begin to see how this new page right here shows exactly who's placing where. So obviously you have all the teams starting off at 0-0, but then depending on who wins and loses those, you get the brackets of 1-0 and 0-1. Of course, that's going to continue to 2-0, 1-1, and and then 0-2, and so on from there. But I'm not going to lie, it's really nice that they lay it all out like this this time around. Because in Go, they didn't do this at all, and if you wanted to see who was where, you had to go to like HLTV or something. But now we can just see it in game. Now, like I said, the opening stage pickums already did happen, but if you did participate in those, the placements you were picking specifically were who were going to go 3-0, and who were going to go 3-1 and and 3-2, and and who would go 0-3. Oh These are my pickums for the current stage right now. I think they're doing somewhat decent, but if we go over to the elimination stage, the next stage that's going to happen, you can see it's going to work exactly the same way, except we have different teams here. And some of these are still yet to be determined, but you can see it's the exact same rundown for what's currently happening in the opening stage. Once this stage becomes active, you're going to be predicting who's going to go 3-0, and 3-1, and 3-2, and 0-3. And, oh and, and as those games get underway, you're going to see all of these start to fill up. Once that ends, it's followed by the playoffs. And I don't even think they have this like layout completely finished yet, which is also part of the reason why it's probably locked. But this set of pickums, once it does open, is going to be a bit different than the elimination and opening stages. It's specifically for the quarterfinals, semifinals, and grand final. And there you're basically picking who's going to make it all the way to the end. Real quickly, before I continue on with everything else, I need to pay for food and rent. So let me give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with Counter-Strike skins. Say you want to upgrade some of your current skins to get something better. This would be the perfect site to do that with. You can also straight up buy skins too. And with their 35% deposit bonus plus my code, it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with. There's even free giveaways you can enter and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site. Get started with a free $5 using my link in the description below. Yeah, I know that gets annoying, but keep in mind, guys, this is my job. I got to make money somehow. Anyways, going back to the opening stage, though, for any of the matches that have already completed, like this one right here, if you click on it, this is how you're going to redeem souvenir packages. And unfortunately, for those of you who are wondering, they're the exact same skins and packages we basically had for the Paris Major. But let's see, if I wanted to claim one of these, that's a Nuke, that's a Vertigo, that's an Anubis. I'm specifically looking for Mirage because knowing, yep, Mirage was the best last time around. So if, okay, we're just going to go ahead and claim this one as an example. So if I claim this, that's what it looks like. We have the package here, although I can't open it yet. Look at this. So you can see all the skins down here. The skins are exactly the same as before. Kind of unfortunate, but I mean, kind of good because if you want a Desert Hydra, all the prices are going to drop. <laughs> you can see it right here in my inventory. It looks like if I do want to unlock it, I have to go find it in my inventory first. That's kind of weird. But yeah, you can see the Mirage collection exactly the same as it was before. Same thing for all of the other collections for all the other maps that are happening. And you could just go ahead and open this up, try your luck. But what I specifically like doing is waiting till the end of the major 
to sell these. Specifically waiting a couple of months after the major, sometimes even longer than that. And the reason I say that is because these packages will go up in price significantly to the point where they're maybe selling at two, three, four, even five dollars a piece. That package plus two more that I can redeem right now should make back about the money that I spent, maybe a little bit less. But keep in mind, you get more of these coins if you choose correct pickums. So at the end of everything, once the opening stage, elimination stage, and playoffs are all over, you could be looking at, I think, six to nine coins in total, if I'm not mistaken, provided you get everything correct. And that provided you choose the souvenir packages that have the most expensive skins, which last time was the Mirage case, so I'm assuming that's probably what it's going to be this time. You're looking at easy profit. Now, I'd love to show the playoffs page here too, and unfortunately, I can't do that because it's completely locked out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how these pickums work. At the end of the day, you're choosing for each stage who you think will make it the farthest and who will get eliminated. And if they're correct, or if a certain number of them is correct, not only are you going to upgrade your coin, but you're also going to get tokens you can redeem for souvenir packages. Don't forget there are a couple extra perks that come with the viewers pass, like the team graffiti right here. If you click choose a team, you can select any of the teams in the major and have a placeable graffiti in any of your matches that does not expire until the end of the major. Like, it has unlimited uses, which is really cool. And besides that, something else that's completely new that we haven't seen before is the active pass leaderboards. And if I expand this, even though there's not too much to show right now, anyone on my friends list who has the pass, I can see how many challenges they've completed and what level their coin is. The majors barely started at the time of recording this, so I mean, everyone's only got bronze at the minute with two challenges completed. But this is really cool to see for those of you who are like really competitive with your diamond coin. Anyways, though, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. If you did make it this far, definitely Definitely make sure you guys drop a like and of course subscribe if you're new and by all means if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop them in the comment section below i'll be happy to take a look and uh yeah now whatever video is showing on your screen the youtube algorithm thinks you might like so do me a favor and go check it out